Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here with Imperial Assault to return to Hoth. And this is, of course, the last hope. And we are of our heroes. We're going to try to rescue, uh, actually save, prevent the um, Imperials coming in to kill this little town of Haven. This is round number seven. So, here we go. Benix holds her position and fires the turret. Choose an Imperial figure within four spaces of the highlighted spaces and roll one red die. That figure suffers damage equal to the result. So we have one, two, three, four. Right? Yeah. So here, I think it's here. So it'd be one, two, three, four. Easily hit here and one, two, three, four. Oh, that is really tempting. We would not be able to kill a polar droid. We have a shot, a one in six chance. No, two in six? Yeah, one third of a chance of taking out the probe droid. So here we go. And we fail miserably. So that leaves five damage to the probe droid. Continue. Okay, so we're going, the question, of course, be, oh, is always, you know, who do we start with? Well, we're going to start with Gideon. Uh, the reason I want to start with Gideon is take out some of this stuff quickly and easily. He is going to have to rest to get rid of his strain. Now, he does have a 5 Endurance, but he cannot, um, you don't get an extra point taken off. He only has 3. We have enough med packs at this point. I'm not going to really worry about it, because um, he's probably not going to be taking too much damage. Finn, on the other hand, is going to be taking damage. <laughs> he goes on ahead and will command Finn to shoot at the probe droid. And we get one damage plus one surge, which on an... Nice thing is about an A280... Not the infantry rifle. There we go. Our A280 has a plus two. So that is three points of damage and the probe droid is out. Good news. Probe droid. Check. Plus five fame. Okay. He now gets another. Oh, he took two strain. He now has a second one. We'll go on ahead and we will use Master Stroke. He'll go on ahead and again command Finn. We're going to go after here. We're only one, two, three, four away. I really wish we could move one closer. I'd really like that. We'll again use the A280. He will go on ahead and use For the Cause. We'll take a second, a third um, one, and we will ultimately use Mobile Tactician to move him ahead by three. 
uh, two spaces. He'll be able to move two spaces. Exhaust this card while you or a friendly figure is attacking a target and you can get a plus one surge. I am going to go on ahead and use this. So we have, we're going to start with a surge. We become focused. So we're going to go on ahead and pack the ATST. Here we go. We easily have distance, accuracy. However, so this will be a plus two. So that's out. This will be a plus. Let's see what we have. Let's see what else we have. We have the under barrel plus one accuracy blast. We don't care. Plus one. Oh, look at that. A pierce too. I like that. So, we're going to do... So, that's out. So, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five damage. That's our pierce. So, we do five damage right off the bat to the ATST. Good job. That was a great movement. He'll go, go on ahead and use Mobile Technician. And he will move two spaces. And we're only going to move to right here. If I get a chance, I'm going to try to do that. So that's the end of Gideon's turn. ATST. Move forward to attack a healthy rebel who has suffered the most damage. If a healthy rebel cannot be targeted... One, two, three. And what do we have? Blue, red, red. Okay, we do have... Oh, he has a... By the way, he has the laminate armor, which does give him... Three and I probably should have used it and exhausted earlier. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Only does three. So we are going to exhaust this card. Okay. So we have a plus three health. We're only going to take two damage. That's the good news. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Move eight to reposition three in the closest barricade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's eight. Okay, these are the damage for this barricade. And that in oh grenade launcher roll one red die the closest rebel or barricade in line at sight suffers damage equal to the result that will be the barricade. Barricade suffers one, and that ends his turn. And Gideon did take one damage. Okay, finish. Okay, normally I would want to go take out, try and take out that ATST, but the ATST is not going to be moving. So my choices are go after this guy. One, two, three, four. Which she can do. One, two. One, two, three. Then we're at a range of two. 
and I can use the dancing weapon. Or I can try and take out the repulsor tank. Repulsor has t eight points left in it. Okay, Diala is going to go in ahead and take out the repulsor tank because that's going to cause a lot more damage and hurt. So, Diala is... She, of course, has her force pike with the shock emitter, which is always kind of handy to have. She does have dancing weapon. So she gains, so we have a red, yellow, yellow, and gains an extra blue die. So the good news is she's got some stuff to do. Ab versus one black. Here we go. Come on, Diala. Activation one. Let's do this. Wow. Look at that. Just straight out four damage. That's so... I haven't had too many sur... I haven't had too many surges. That kind of stinks. Okay, then we're going to go on ahead and use the force pike. We do not have a blue this time. Oh, right. Look at this. Look at this. So, first of all... Let's see. Close this card while attacking. Apply a plus one result. We're going to go on ahead and exhaust this card out. Sorry about the movement there. We're going to go on ahead and exhaust this card out. So we get a plus one damage. And then we have plus one, plus one. So this is out. And we get a plus one, plus one. So we get plus two. So a total of five damage. And that, my friends, is enough to take out the repulsor tank. Excellent. Excellent job. That is gone. Nice to see that out. A damaged tank catches fire and as a burning wreck crashes into the snow, Soren's implement of domination is left to smolder in the fields of Haven. Continue. Y'all is not going to do anything. She should have used Precise Strike. She is done. Okay, so we do not have a order that the Imperial can do. The two highest cost Imperial figures that aren't already focused become focused. Okay, we can't order. Move three to the closest barricade. So we're going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, and three more. One, two, three. And he will attack the barricade. So we have a blue yellow. We have a automatic two. And he manages to easily have accuracy, not that he needed it. Oh, yeah, he actually did need accuracy. And only does two damage. So that's 12 total. They have 15. Excellent. And that ends his turn.
Varna is going to open this interact. Gain a med pack and artificial stimulants. Oh, nice. So she can four. So this has four that she can use. This is nice. Right, it's up here. So the first thing she's going to do is take one strain and move here. She will go on ahead and attack. Okay, when you use adjacent figure, you may replace one red dice. So she's going to uh, attack with a yellow and a red. Versus a white, if I recall correctly. And we do. Oh, wow. That's a really good defense. But, still does three damage. To our Imperial officer. And we'll continue. And that's it for damage that she can do. End. And Finn. Okay, Finn has a whole bunch of fun stuff to go on. So first of all, he gets to unexhaust stuff. He'll have his 280, his underbarrel. And we will use and plasma cell. And we will start with tactical movement. We're going to go on ahead and exhaust the card. Choose yourself or a friendly figure within three spaces. Gain two movement points. So we're going to gain two movement points. One, two. And we are within three. That is important. Exhaust this card when you declare an attack target trench fighter. Within three spaces, that's why it was important to move, we'll gain a plus two to the attack. And we're not going to use superior positioning. We don't need to use that. Nope. Okay, we're done. So we're going to go on ahead and, yes, we are going to use superior positioning. Why? So we're going to take one strain, use superior position. We're going to be able to move one, two. That's all we're going to do. And we also become focused. So here we go. This will be fun, I hope. Can we take out this guy? So that's out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. So that is 11 total will become unfocused and we will we lose that and we will attack again for our second acti activation and 
and unfortunately we're only going to do one damage. So that ends. Then. A familiar scarred face emerges from the shadows of the outpost, crashing the Star Destroyer? Quite. The spectacle, Danger smirks and claps his hands. Unfortunately now, I've got a lot of credits riding on your head, the hunter muses, his smile giving way to a cold demeanor of professional hunter. What do you say we do this the easy way and you just lay down your weapons? Deploy Danger. Where is he at? Okay, so he's over here in the corner. Continue. You know that Danger owes no allegiance to anyone, especially the Empire, and you hope that you hope to use that to your advantage. We're going to try to reason with him. Test insight. So we're going to test a green, a yellow, and a blue. And I've got two characters that can do that. A green, a yellow, and a blue. Oh, oh no. Confirm. You ramble on a moment before Danger cuts you off. Yes, and if you rebels win, you'll try to stamp me out, he points out probably correctly. Honestly, the longer this war lasts, the better. Continue. More Imperials pour into the snow. Of course. Anyone surprised? Because I certainly am not. Continue. It's them. Blast them. Deploy elite stormtroopers. Boy, that'd be really nice to use a havoc shot. Continue. More Imperials fled from the outpost. Continue. <sighs> Snow troopers again. Continue. Round eight. Well, this is going to end our current round. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and come back again and we'll see you next time and have an absolutely great day. Please like and subscribe.